Uh, hello, uh, I just would like to ask uh, because I'm like recently overwhelmed with all the like uh, ideas uh, what would be possible with blockchain and cryptocurrencies and stuff. Uh, do you see anything which from your point of view it's not a good idea to be implemented on blockchain? Oh, fantastic question. Um, 80% of what people are saying is a good idea to be implemented on blockchain, added to that list of things that should not be implemented on a blockchain. Right now, blockchain is the hammer, and everything looks like a nail, and people are going around and hitting things, uh, mostly breaking things, uh, and not really producing anything useful. The, the problem is nobody really knows what a blockchain is, um, and it's defined in such a ridiculously broad way. Um, and I'm going to be publishing an article about that. I'm doing a talk about that. But blockchain is the ultimate meaningless word. Um, and the bottom line is that we try to apply it anywhere we think we can add the words database plus trust plus transparency plus um, immutability, right? And the problem is that. Trust and transparency and immutability are not properties of the blockchain. They are properties of a system that combines a blockchain, uh, an open consensus mechanism with a proof-of-work investment, and extrinsic energy, and a native asset that creates a game-theoretical reward system, all working in conjunction to massively increase the decentralization of the system until its decentralization range is so high that suddenly immutability, security, transparency, openness emerge as characteristics. And so we're like, let's do all of that without the decentralization. I have some really simple advice for you. If you like this advice and it helps you revolutionize your business, please send me a Bitcoin donation. If you are currently involved in a large corporate proof of concept research project where some consultant is selling you blockchain not proper noun, abstract noun, blockchain, just generally. <laughs> Let's do blockchain, not a blockchain, not the blockchain, not one blockchain, just blockchain as a general concept. If they're using words like that, and they're telling you that the system that you have now can be replaced with a blockchain, and suddenly all of these magical characteristics will evolve, will evolve from it, this is the same business model that we saw in 2000 on the internet. One, existing business. Two, build a website. Three, question mark, question mark. Four, profit! <laughs> and it fails at the three place, um, where you suddenly discover that I don't know, creating an Uber of laundry to wash other people's clothes is not a winning business model. Um, so here's my free advice. Take the word blockchain from the consulting research proposal. Don't fund it and do a search and replace through the document and replace it with Microsoft SQL Server Data Center Edition. <laughs> and if the proposal still works from an IT perspective, buy that instead. There. I just saved you a million dollars. I'll take a small commission send it to my Bitcoin address. If you are using blockchain to mean a database and we added some hashes and signatures, you are missing the point. The magic of this technology is the decentralization. And to remove the decentralization is to remove what makes it magic. I have a simple analogy. This is as if a consultant comes to you and says, "Listen, you know this new amazing thing called aviation? Well, the technology behind aviation is wings. So we propose to add wings to cruise ships, and by adding wings to cruise ships, given enough propulsion energy and time, we will soon achieve aviation. <laughs> You're not going to lift 150,000 metric tons with the included buffet cafeteria, Olympic-sized swimming pool, and amphitheater for musical productions into the air just because you added wings, because wings is not the technology behind aviation. You're not going to achieve aviation. Um, 
And I'll go into that in more detail in a future talk. But the bottom line is that blockchain is one component of a whole set of technologies that work in conjunction to achieve one thing, and one thing that matters only: decentralization. That is the measure of success. That is what all of the interesting characteristics emerge from. And you can't do without the decentralization, right?